Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video I am going to show you how to export textures from Substance Painter, and how to set them in Maya, and then render it out in Arnold. So let's get started. So here we are in Substance Painter. This is the file on which I will show you how to export textures. As you can see, I have already created the texture of this gas cylinder. So first we have to export all the texture maps from here. Go to File, and select Export Texture, or you can use the shortcut which is Ctrl plus Shift plus E. From here, select the location where you will export the texture files. I will recommend you to set a project window in Maya, so that you will never lose the path for the textures, and the textures will automatically applied whenever you will open Maya. I will export the texture files to source images. So double click on source images folder, then click on select folder. You can choose the format from here, I will keep it as JPEG. Here I have only one layer in texture set list, you may have more than one. From here you can choose the resolution, you can choose 4K as well. I will choose 2K resolution from here. After setting up all these, click on export. I will be back once all these are exported. So here we are in Maya. All the texture maps have been exported in the source images. Now drag and select all these meshes, then right click, and choose assign new material. From here, choose Arnold shader, and then select AI standard surface. Now select the object, go to Attribute Editor, and then increase the weight all the way to 1. Now then, click on the color checker box. From here, choose File. Now click on the folder, then select the path of the source images. From here, choose Base Color, then click on Open. If you are not able to see the texture here, you can click this button, or press 6 on your keyboard. Now then, click here, then select Metalness Checker Box. From here, choose File, then click on this folder, and then from the source images, choose Metallic Texture, and then click on Open. Now for the Metal Texture, click on this Color Space Options. From here, choose Raw. Now then, click on this color balance, and then check in this alpha is luminance. Now, select the object, and this time, click on the roughness checker box. Again select file. Click on this folder. From here, click on roughness, and then click on open. Now from here, change the color space to raw. Click on this, here, scroll down and open Geometry. From here, click on Bump Mapping Checker Box. Now select File. Then from here, change Use As, to Tangent Space Normal. Now click on this, then select the folder, and then choose Normal, and click on Open. Now from here, change the color space to Raw. Perfect, all the textures have been applied. Now then, click here to open Hypershade. From here, select the AI standard material. Hold right click, and choose Graph Network. Down here, you will find the graph networks for the textures that have been applied. Now select this out alpha connection from metallic texture node, and press delete to break the connection. Now expand Out Color, then select this Out Color R, and plug it here. Then click Other, and from here, choose Metalness. Perfect. Now it is the time to set up some lights, and let's see how it looks in the render view. I will create a plane, and scale it up. From here, I will decrease the subdivision width and height to 1. I will scale it more. 
Then go to edge mode, select this edge. Select move tool, then hold shift and move it up to extrude the edge. Then go to edge mode, select this edge, hold shift, right click, and choose bevel edge. From here decrease the fraction to 0.3. And increase the segments to 12 to smooth out the edge. Now go to object mode, and scale it out in the z-axis. I will assign new material to this plane. Right click and choose assign new material. Select AI standard material. Now from attribute editor, I will adjust some of the settings. You can set it as per your choice. I will select the plane and create a layer and make it reference so that it cannot be selected. Now create a camera and set up the scene as per your choice. After setting up the camera, select the camera, then from channel box, select all these, then right click, and choose lock selected. Then go to perspective view. Now, go to Arnold, choose lights, then select area light. Now, set the light something like this. Then go to camera view, and let's see how it is looking. Go to Attribute Editor, and uncheck Normalize. Then increase the intensity to 2. And increase the exposure to 1. Now select this light, press Ctrl D to duplicate the light. And then set the light like this. Go back to the camera view, and render it to see how it is looking. I will change the position of the camera view. So select the camera. Go to channel box. Select all these, then right click, and then choose unlock selected. Then adjust the camera position. And then lock the camera from channel box. Then select this light. Go to perspective view, and then adjust the lights like this. Duplicate another light. And then position it from the top. Then go back to the camera view, and click on render. Now I will adjust the light settings. So for the top light I will increase the samples to 4. And turn off the cast shadows for this light. For this light I will increase the samples to 2. And turn off cast shadows. And for this light, I will increase the samples to 2 as well, but I will keep the shadows on. Now, let's render the scene and see how it looks. I think it will be better if I turn on the shadows of the top light. So, select the top light, and turn on cast shadows. Now it is looking good. I will now increase the resolution of the image. Go to the render setting. From here, scroll down to image size, and change the presets to HD 1080. Then close this one. And then hit render. Perfect. It will take some time to render out completely. So guys, 
I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.